Good morning, guys. It is 6.34 in the morning, and I'm listening to the Gals on the Go podcast with uh, Brooke and Danielle. Okay, overall, the Stanley Cup is a must. Like, you need one. This is probably, like, the only thing I'm ever going to use. You don't need to keep filling up a water bottle, like, throughout the day. I fill mine up about three times a day because I drink I typically drink just a lot of water but you don't need to like keep going to fill up your cup which is amazing really really happy with the Stanley Cup highly recommend um if I had you know extra extra money I'd probably like get one for home and then get one for like on the go having one is fine to just like take around with me right now I am at cycle bar i'm doing the express ride and i typically don't like doing the express rides i just find that i like the 45 minutes because if i am going to drive somewhere literally i want like an hour or 45 minute workout um but it's okay like i love ethan's class like he's awesome he has great music so literally i'm really just going for ethan because i haven't gone to his class in forever so I'm just getting my hair up and yeah, I hope I don't sweat too much. I'll probably sweat obviously, but like hopefully I don't sweat like too, too much. Cause I just washed my hair. I was debating like, do I wash it or not? I washed it because it just gets too uncomfortable. And like, I'm the type of girl that like comfort over everything and someone just got in their car and that's why I'm all red. You guys would have already seen the video because I think I'm going to just do an announcement video like a short one telling you guys like what's been going on but this is my official like last week as a uh, graphic designer at a new station so so crazy I'm gonna miss like my co-workers and everyone there like so much because they're really cool people but I'm excited for what's to come I'm also nervous obviously but you know what? If you get too comfortable in life, like, what are you doing? You know, you need to go out and try new things. And, like, right now at this age, like, I am at that time in my life. Oh, my gosh. Am I missing a hair clip? No. But anyway, yeah. So, today is the beginning of, like, my last week, which is kind of scary. But it is all good and just gonna make the best of what is yet to come and I'm excited and I like I chose to do this so anyway I've already said all this so I am just gonna go in and happy Monday guys um also before I end this clip um I want to say this hydro flask is also really really good so if you need and they are kind of pricey I'm not gonna lie Oh, and I suggest getting the straw version, but if you are in need of like cups, this Hydro Flask for working out because it's like nice, compact, skinny, and then this is for every day. And I think you'll be good to go for the rest of your life. I'm just kidding, but no, very good items that keep your water nice and cold like throughout the day and stuff. I also have to get my fingerprints done soon, like tomorrow. So that'll be fun. Here's my change of clues. Good times, good times. Okay, so the ride went well. My hair's looking crazy as usual and I'm trying this new Starbucks drink. Um, I was watching some of like Taylor's vlogs and she recommended this one. So I'm gonna try it for you guys and I'll share with you what I ordered and stuff. I'm so glad I washed my hair. Oh my gosh. I would have been so uncomfortable today if I didn't wash it. Y'all go flying. Okay, so this is the drink. So this is a grande cold brew with one pump of vanilla, one pump of the cinnamon dulce with oat milk. So I'm hoping, it doesn't look like they put a lot of oat milk in there, which is good because I don't know, I just have this thing where I don't like oat milk, but then again, I have this drink. It's the other Taylor drink I have, which is the the toffee nut thing, and it, it has oat milk. So, I'll, I don't know. I feel like I say I don't like oat milk, but I should take that back now. Okay, I'm going to try this. <laughs> Not bad. It reminds me of the, um, number one, it's a lot more bitter. It's not horrible. It's probably not my favorite. And then it also has a touch. It tastes kind of like the 
um, brown shaken espresso drink one of those it tastes it resembles probably because of the cinnamon um, the brown oat milk shaken espresso it resembles that which isn't my favorite so I probably wouldn't get this drink again but I wanted to try for you guys yeah I don't really recommend this one but it's still it's like okay it's not my most favorite but I wanted to try something be a little uh, spontaneous for this video okay guys we are going to have our first meal in the house well we've had more meals in the house but this is one that Valerie's making so we got the potatoes over here. Valerie's starting all of this stuff. Looking good, looking good. As you can see, we've cleared off all of this pretty much. That's just my stuff that I have right now. And then I want to show you guys these juicy steaks and our beautiful sink. So looking good, looking good. We got the asparagus. They look nice. And as you guys know, we got a new grill. So this is what it looks like. It's super large, which is really, really nice. And Valerie's got that going on. We bought two girls because this uh, this is also it's like something that you would see at Kobe Steakhouse. Yep. So it's a Blackstone. So I can't wait for Valerie to like cook on this one as well. So this is her little setup she's got going on. Don't mind that. It's just um, the packing stuff that we need to get hauled away. Anyway, these are the beauties. Okay, so this is what my steak looks like. My other stuff is just wrapped so it stays like warm and everything. But I'm gonna show you guys the asparagus. So there are the asparagus, looks so good. This is just so I won't forget to vlog this, but we're also having these beautiful potatoes that Valerie makes, they're just such a treat. And as you can see, Valerie put some really nice candles here too for our meal. <laughs> good morning guys and happy Tuesday. Today, it's probably like in the 60s. Yes, that is considered winter for Florida. So I pulled out the Ugg booties. So this is my fit for today. Just getting ready to go to work, uh, get my fingerprinting done. Um, I also need to get air in my tires. So Sherry's gonna show me how to do that. Cause like, I always hate going to like, you know, Pet Boys or Valvoline. Cause I always think like, oh my God, they're gonna think that, you know, I'm just like some young girl who doesn't know how to do anything. And like, I wanna know how to be able to do shit. So like, I am going to like, just do this, put away my fear of the tire like popping. Cause literally that's like my biggest fear. Um, I know that's like, it's not impossible, but it's like highly unlikely. It's just like an irrational fear. So I want to learn how to do it myself so I don't have to like go somewhere to learn how to do it. I know that was a big long tangent for like nothing, but anyway, I'm going to learn how to do that today. Okay. That was a legit fail. So Sherry was showing me how to do it and I was like putting the thing on. Okay. At least I've said, I can say I've done it because this is ridiculous. It kept saying that I was like losing pressure and I'm like, what the hell man? Like this is frustrating. And like you were timed and that cost $2. That was a waste, just like an entire waste, except that I can say I've officially done it now, but I'm going to pet boys to have them do it because my tires still say air pressure. So yeah, I'm just gonna go to the professionals and have them do it. I don't care what people think of me, whatever. Um, that was like a waste of $2 and it kind of pisses me off because, you know, it didn't do anything. It probably like made things worse. And now I know that I don't have any tire caps. So it's fine, whatever. I'm just gonna go get this taken care of and yeah. That was an adventure. Okay, so I just got my fingerprints done and it was super fast and super easy. And now I'm just heading to work. Guys, my coffee this morning was so good. Oh my gosh, they are starting to make it perfect. I put in the little order like extra almond milk. So yeah, that's good. But now on my way to work, I'm so happy the fingerprinting went like super easy. I was like nervous that I don't know that it wouldn't be, but it was. And I guess now I'm officially like all ready for school, which is like kind of crazy. Okay, so it is 6.30 now, got off work, and now I'm going to go to cycle bar class. I have to work 
the night shift tomorrow so that's why I had to shift my little schedule around with the rides so I am going to head in now and get changed I just need to change my top because I wore leggings to work today and yeah so gonna head in now <laughs> So mothers are watching their show over there, but uh, this is my dinner. I hate eating this late, but it is what it is. <laughs> so I'm going to just <sighs> fine dying tonight. Okay, so I just got home. I'm gonna wash the hair tomorrow, but my last little night shift for the new station is over. It is 11.30. It was good, because there's like absolutely no traffic, which is amazing, um, but yeah gonna try to get in bed soon that's pretty much it for this little clip i am on my way to work like normal i'm gonna get some starbucks i am allowed to be a little bit later today because i worked last night and stuff so it's already like nine but it's fine and the traffic won't be that bad either because it's like later in the day so i can get there pretty fast also, I wanted to kind of like tell you guys my plan when it comes to like coffee and stuff because Okay, I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie like getting Starbucks I know is like super expensive and it's like not necessary But it's just something fun and it gives me like a boost of the caffeine and it just tastes good But obviously when I like go to school like I can't be doing that because it's just like too expensive so my plan is going to uh, Publix and they sell like the iced coffee in these like plastic you know bottles and I'm just gonna get that and then just put al vanilla almond milk in it and it should taste like pretty similar so that's my plan I just number one I don't want to like not have the coffee especially in the morning when like I have to absorb material and learn stuff so that's my plan so far I'm gonna try it out this weekend That'll probably be like the weekend vlog, like getting ready for school, which I'm gonna have to like get notebooks and stuff. And it'll be fun and exciting, but also too, like guys, I haven't been to school in a little bit, even though I know like how to be a good student, because that's one thing I like really pride myself on. Like when I was in school, like I was a good student. Like I always did my homework. I always like knew what was up. I studied a lot. That was my problem at UCF because like I only studied, like I didn't do anything else in my life pretty much and then sometimes I would do like club activities but that was because I needed to to like show I was involved but like still that was related to like my major it wasn't like for fun it wasn't like photography club or like videography club because I think this is like a good hobby like I like taking pictures and stuff like I would never want that to be my career because yeah, I would not want it to be my job because then it would like feel like a job. Yeah, I was not in any of those types of clubs because obviously I do have a creative side to me. So anyway, what I'm getting at is I had no balance. So this time I'm going to make it a priority like to make it a balance and stuff and like still do creative things, go on like photo shoots and stuff because I like doing that and I don't really know where I was going with this but I'm excited for school but also really nervous okay I was wrong when I said about traffic because it's pretty bad out as you can see oh my gosh I did not realize like traffic was gonna be this heavy it's normally like really light especially if you leave like later in the day because it's like a random Thursday so I don't know what's really going on here but yeah hopefully this like picks up because Normally, it's not like this, especially at this hour. Okay, so I got off work a little early because um, there wasn't a lot of orders and then the night shift person was already here. But they got me, like my team of people, got me a little gift. I'm pretty sure my old boss, Michelle, she's the one that picked the stuff out. But I want to show you guys because I thought it was so nice. So first off, she got me this cute little, it's like clipboard slash notebook. And... I'm so happy that she got me some school supplies because I haven't been in school for so long. And I was thinking like, 
I need to do a vlog on like back to school shopping <laughs> because I don't have any stuff. I got this notebook as well. I'm probably gonna take this my first day because like I don't really know what I'm going to need really. I'm not the digital type of person when it comes to like taking notes and stuff. Also, I got these cups, which I'm probably gonna use for coffee because like I told you guys this morning, I'm gonna be like just buying the Publix Starbucks thing in the in the bottle just to like make my own. So I'm happy I got some cups, which it's almost like she read my mind. You are right where you are meant to be. Um, she also got me some highlighters, which are these really cute pastel colors. I can't wait to try it out. And she got me these really, really cute pens. I think they're adorable. I'm definitely gonna use those. She also got me these, I think they're mechanical pencils. Yeah, they're mechanical pencils. And I love these colors. Like she just knows. Anyway, I love all of how all this stuff matches too. And then the best part of all, they got me a card and like she had a lot of people sign it and stuff, which is really, really nice. As you guys know, my favorite thing about getting gifts and like just anything is the cards. Like I have so many cards that I've saved over the years. So that's definitely going in my like keepsake bin. That is everything that I got and I will be using all this stuff. That stuff is such a great help and I'm so, so thankful. I'm so sad. Like we went to lunch today, like me and a few, all my former bosses like went and then a few other people that I work with. And I don't know, it's just like so bittersweet. Like I still, it still hasn't really hit me. But right now I'm going to get my parking pass because I think they're still open, like fingers crossed. And then I'm going to cycle bar tonight. That is the game plan for right now. And yeah, so hopefully fingers crossed that this parking pass situation goes by smoothly because it's supposed to be free. So that's always a good thing. But I need to do that before Monday because I don't really like know what to expect on Monday. You know it's gonna be a good day because I got a good parking spot. And I also got my parking pass, as you can see right there. So we're all good in that department. It was really easy to get, so I'm happy. <laughs> okay, so don't mind the uh, boxes out there. But um, hey, now I can like kind of show my shirt cause like I don't work there anymore. Um, but anyway, I got a few packages. A lot of these are like textbooks, but this one is my Halloween costume. So I just wanted to show you guys. I don't think I'm gonna do like a whole crazy thing for Halloween, but I know my friends having like a little Halloween party. I like low effort costumes. <laughs> because I'm kind of lazy. So I got this red top. It's just like a bandeau, but it's like, it covers all the skin. There was only like one size, so I'm like hoping it fits. Some people said it was itchy, but like you can't ask for a lot of stuff like being comfortable when it was like 10, $12. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't feel that itchy. Maybe on the, the nips, it might be a little itchy, but no, this should work out really well. And then I got these hats. So I'm going to be Mario. Also too, this will be really good if I go, get invited to like a Christmas party. I could just wear this with like white jeans. I just thought about that and I could be a candy cane. Okay, anyway, my favorite. I love candy canes, but I'm gonna be Mario. And then if anyone else like, <laughs> was like going with me or whatever, then there's a Luigi hat, which I'll probably keep because I might reuse this. But that's my Halloween costume. And then next up, it's not as exciting. Day? White jeans. Oh, okay. I got inspired from Pinterest. So the next few items are not gonna be that exciting. So I'm just gonna like hurry through because I'm curious to like see the books. But these are my textbooks for school. Oh my gosh, they, they used it with the same paper as the packing people. Oh no, not more of that paper. More of that paper. Okay, so I got, this is like an invoice, which I might keep, I don't know. Okay, so, so there's this workbook. It's the Surgical Technology Principles and Practice. So this is probably like learning how to put on gloves, like handling the instruments and stuff. Um, glaucoma, cataract, oh my gosh. So this is cool. I like that they have their own like textbook. This is the, well that was the workbook, but this is the actual textbook. This is probably the heaviest one. Wow, that's a big, that's a big book. Well I guess this is my entire like major. It's not like really a major, it's like field of study. But like I guess this is my entire job in a book. That's kind of what I'm taking it as. All right, so taking a crack open, that's what it looks like. Hey, it's like good quality. So at UCF, we had these textbooks. Oh my gosh, ooh, a graph. I'm not a fan already. I'm just kidding. I hate graphs. Surgical instruments, 
Falls Hospital. Like this is just looks literally like the entire job in a textbook. At UCF, to get like a cheaper version of a textbook, you would get the papers to put in a like binder, but I had mine spiral bound because the pages would break and stuff. So I'm glad that this is like a legit book. Like I didn't have to like do anything else with it. So this right here is the pharmacology for the surgical technologist, which I'm excited. So there was this like point in time in my life that I wanted to do part-time pharmacy tech, which I'm kind of glad I didn't because like if you work at Walgreens or whatever, you have to like deal with all these people, which would probably make me cry. So, um, I'm kind of glad that I didn't go the farm tech route. And then this is the last one. I think I have some more books coming, but for now, this is what I have going on. Oh, it's paper, but it's not the exact paper. <laughs> Different paper. We have the microbiology for surgical technology. Surgical technologist. I thought the textbook would be like bigger than this. I don't know. I always thought microbio was like that big book I showed you earlier, but okay, like that's fine with me. Anyway, I was expecting it to be like bigger. And then this is medical terminology for health professionals. This is like prefixes, suffix, suffixes. Um, I think I was supposed to end up taking this like later in my UCF days, but I never ended up taking it. Um, but that's gonna be interesting. So anyway, that's gonna be it for this portion of the video. Okay, so last night, I don't know where I ended the vlog, but we had some Donato's pizza. Obviously, I forgot to vlog that because we just dug in. Apparently, Donato's is like 50 minutes away from our new house. So, and the GPS routed me a weird way, but whatever, we made it and we heated this up and it was so good. I'm going to start a new vlog and my hair's looking crazy because I haven't like put it up, but I'm gonna start a new vlog and I'm going to cycle bar today and it's kind of like, prepping with me to get ready for school. And as you can see, you guys already saw all of this stuff, but I have all of my textbooks. And then I found my planner. I got this for myself for work, but then I don't, didn't really need it because I wasn't doing the events a lot anymore. So I'm gonna use it for school. And obviously we're like October, so there's nothing there, but I'm excited because I'm gonna order the manifest planner from like Tori De Simone when she brings out a dig when she brings out a manual like a hard copy version because my iPad's too old to like handle anything. So no digital copies for me, but I'm gonna get her physical planner when it comes out, and I think that's dropping um, Black Friday. Like that's her goal, which is coming up, so it's gonna be perfect because that one ends December, I think. So. It'll be good for like goal setting and like planning during school and stuff. But yeah, I think that is going to be about it for this video. Like I've already said, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.